Hi there, it's really great to see you. Thanks for looking in. Um, this week I thought I'd um, talk a little bit about what I do with um, some some seaside pictures to try and improve them. Uh, and if you're anything like me, when you're going out to the, the beach, uh, if you're with your family and your friends, you don't really want the fag of taking your tripod and setting that up. And frankly, uh, if you set up your tripod when you're, you're with your friends and with your family, uh, it becomes a bit of a bore for everybody else. So if you've noticed all those fantastic landscape photographers that you've looked at on YouTube, none of them are there with their uh, husbands and wives. It just doesn't happen. So you're out, you take uh, uh, some pictures and you get back into the editing suite and you see things like this and this and this and you think, what on earth were you doing? So this week, we're going to look at how we can uh, improve pictures that were taken somewhat on the fly. And we're also going to show you how to turn a picture into a pastel uh, edit, which works particularly well for things like um, beach huts. So, the first thing um, that you should do when you get back to the editing suite is the, uh, start looking at the controls that you've got on this side. This week I'm looking at Lightroom and I'm looking at Lightroom um, in its online uh, cloud version. Um, and essentially the controls are the same as uh, with the other um, version, the desktop version. Uh, you've got light color, effects etc. The first thing that I look at is the crop because I hate looking at an uneven um, horizon. So we've got this awful line here which is just doing my head in and in Lightroom they've worked out you can just press a button called auto and it does it for you. Fantastic. Now when I look at that picture, I'm less offended. Uh, I love beach huts, and I always take a picture of beach hut. Beach huts look great if they're a little bit pastel. And if you're trying to do pastel, uh, there are various filters that you can get on your phone, etc. But this is what I try and do um, in Lightroom myself. So the first thing is reducing the contrast here. Normally, in most pictures, you're trying to increase the dynamic range of a picture. What that means is more brights and more darks and more mid-range. Um, but for a pastel picture, you want to reduce many of those things. So you bring down the, um, the contrast a little bit. Um, I'm going to take down some of the highlights. I'm going to take them down quite a lot. You can't really see an awful lot, but you can see that it's smoothing out um, uh, the picture a little bit. I'm going to boost the shadows a tiny bit, not so much, but just so that I get a bit of colour into the uh, the grass here. A little bit of um, uh, a little bit of more contrast in here. And the whites is where we really want to try and push up. So here I'm going to try and push that quite away. Uh, and now if I um, uh, and if I just take down the blacks a, a tiny bit, you've still got contrast in the picture, um, but it's beginning to brighten the picture uh, through bringing up those whites. Whites are a great slider. Look at that, you can sort of do crazy things here. Um, similarly on highlights. Now, the reason why I brought the highlights down is that I still want the detail uh, in the slats in the white of the um, boathouse uh, in the beach house. So that's light. I encourage you to play around with these sliders. I'm going to leave this um, uh, curve for another video. Next thing I'm going to look at is colour. Now what you can do is you can play around and you get some stuff here. Um, we could take down the the saturation but that's global uh, global impact on all of the picture 
I want to alert you to the color mixer here. And in the color mixer, you can affect the hue of a, a individual color. You can affect the uh, luminescence or the light in that color, and you can affect the saturation. So, and I said it last uh, time, um, blue is a big one, particularly if you've got anything with sky in, you might want to focus on affecting the sky. Now, um, the other one on beaches is uh, uh, is the the yellow because lots of beaches have yellow. So what I tend to do is I tend to push up um, the yellows for the beach. Um, I'm going to take down the grass just a little bit to continue to keep some colour in here. Uh, and I'm really interested in these sort of turquoisey blues that you've got here. Uh, I'm going to sort of bring the uh, these colours out um, and so now we've got a much nicer uh, tone of palette um, for the for the beach hut. Uh, it's much more pastely. But and now this is the uh, the big win is the dehaze button um, uh, slider. Use the dehaze a lot, particularly for skies, to try and get haze out of the sky. In this case, for, because we're trying to get a pastel effect, I'm going to drop the uh, the haze. Um, essentially, I'm going to be adding haze into the picture. If I uh, if I move the slider to the right, you can see it sharpens everything up. It uh, takes out the haze. But in this case, we're going to just drop it down here. And now we have a much more uh, sort of pastel type picture. So I'm quite happy with that, with the exception of a couple of um, things here. Now, if we go over here, we've got this sort of post here and a shadow. And it really affects the picture as far as I'm concerned. Now, you may know the clone feature. Uh, but if you don't, it's fantastic. It's great for taking out things or changing things in the picture, which are small details that you're not keen on. And in this case, uh, I'm going to take uh, the clone brush. You can uh, clone. In this case, I'm going to be cloning. You can use heel. I'll do that in a, another week. Um, and you essentially paint over the thing that you don't want and it disappears. In this case, it hasn't quite lined up perfectly. There you go. And I also don't want the shadow, so I'm going to get rid of that. So now that's looking much better. The final thing that I would do is to crop this. Now, um, as we said earlier on, the first thing we did is we corrected the horizon. Uh, now what we're going to do is uh, get a crop to get rid of the um, uh, this beach hut uh, on the on the right hand side here. Um, for for land uh, for portrait orientated pictures, I tend to focus uh, pr prefer a, a four by five crop, um, and I'm going to do that here. Now all I'm going to do is crop over to get rid of the, uh, the the beach hut on the right. You see we're sort of on the rule of thirds with the horizon two thirds of the way up the picture. And it's not quite center, which in this case, a symmetrical crop will look better. And that's it. There's one other thing that you can do. If you really like an edit that you've done on a particular picture and you want to uh, save that for, for future, try, try not have to recreate it, you can do something very simple, which is down the bottom here in Lightroom is something called presets. And there are lots of presets which are given to you by um, uh, Lightroom, but you can, you can see they totally affect the, the feel of a, a particular picture, but you can create your own. If you click here, create um, preset, I'm going to call this Beach Hut. It was in Southwold. You can um, save that 
And then when you go back to a different picture, you can apply uh, the same edit here. So beach hut, and you, there it is. Uh, let's, let's also affect the crop. I'm not uh, the horizon. Look, there you go. It's picked up the horizon. Um, so there you go. Thanks very much for looking in. I hope you found this useful. Um, one of the things that I would say is that one of the feedbacks I had last week was that um, Lightroom's expensive and people don't get on with it. Uh, I don't find it particularly expensive because I do photography a lot. I really want the tools to my hand. But what I would say is <coughs> Most of what I've talked about today, you can do in the standard editing um, software that you get with pretty much any camera that you buy. Uh, if you don't do uh, there, also I would suggest in uh, if you edit in uh, on your phone, there's something called Snapseed. Uh, it's a great little, uh, very cheap app, and it does fantastic work. You can do all the sort of things that I was doing on the big screen here uh, on that. So uh, check that out as well. Thanks very much for, uh, for watching. If you enjoyed what you've seen here, please subscribe here or here or wherever it is that they, they put it. And uh, uh, please look in next time uh, where I try and do something which I haven't quite decided yet. Thanks very much for looking in. Bye.